Dr. Loft, ChatGPT has really started changing the way so many students approach their studies. Do you think it's something we should embrace, uh, that educators should embrace, or steer clear of it? The terrain in K-12 classrooms is really changing, and we see that there are new ways that teachers are figuring out how to use AI all the time. So I think, uh, I think your question about it, should we steer clear or embrace it, it's definitely here, it's coming, and so I think we really do need to consider how we're gonna be using in our classes to best support our students, especially when it comes to STEM education. Well, that's what I was gonna ask next is, is there a way that science teachers can incorporate or harness the power of chat GPT in their curricula? I, uh, I love this question. So I work with, uh, preparing new teachers who are going to be science teachers. And we're really trying to think purposefully about how we use ChatGPT in training or preparing teachers to work, uh, to be future teachers. And so we do use ChatGPT. Uh, we use it to help outline lesson plans, but then we really make sure, we make it very, very pointed, that we're very clear about this, that uh, the teachers are responsible for modifying those lessons. Because if left alone, ChatGPT is only as good as the data it gets in. So that's a really important thing to keep at the front of your mind. So it's not able to make the important decisions that teachers make. It's not able to know if kids have come to school hungry. It's not able to know uh, if kids didn't get a good night's sleep. And all of those things impact where students are in their learning for that day. That's a little bit about how ChatGPT can be used on the teacher's end, how do you see ChatGPT being used in classrooms for students in the future? Just using ChatGPT to generate something for an assignment uh, is not okay. But using it maybe to help you think about something is a, as a starting point is very important. In science education now it becomes really interesting because you can write synthesis of what you think is happening around a phenomena and uh, you know, maybe students are doing that to try to help understand the data they're getting. I, again, I think students are probably using ChatGPT more than we realize. And I think we just really have to work with students to have them understand the limits of it. Obviously, this is gonna be a topic that's changing every year, every Absolutely. month even. So thank Absolutely. you so much to Dr. Luff for coming and chatting with us about it. Great, thank you for reaching out. <laughs>